Hello everyone, welcome back to The Wrench and Fool. So in this video, I'm going to try to make it quick today, but this video is actually a response to another video that I saw online. Uh, I'll put a link to the video and his channel down in the description below. It's definitely a channel that I would recommend checking out if you're interested in various uh, electric vehicles. Uh, in this particular video, he was driving a, uh, a brand new Volkswagen ID4 um, from somewhere in the north of UK, I think he said Edinburgh, down to the, the south end of UK, uh, back to where he lives. And they had driven up there to pick up the vehicle in a Tesla Model 3 long range. And they were driving both of the vehicles back and doing a comparison on the way back. And so in that video, they charged both vehicles at the, ch at the same charging station. I believe it was an Ionity charging station, which is sort of similar to uh, Electrify America that we have here in the US, uh, in the sense that both of them are funded by Volkswagen. So uh, in the UK and other countries in the world, they can charge Teslas at non-Tesla superchargers without using any adapters because they are required, I believe by law, uh, to use a standard CCS connector over there. They're not allowed to use uh, the Tesla proprietary connectors. So they charge both of them at the same station there and there's a question that comes up uh, regarding a discrepancy between the amount of electricity that the Tesla shows as being brought in uh, from the charger versus what the charger is showing that it uh, put out. So we're going to go over that. I'm going to pull up some stuff here on the computer and uh, show you basically what I'm talking about here. So let's get to it. Okay, so the number in question here with this video was the uh, discrepancy between the number that's shown on the Tesla infotainment screen regarding how much energy it has put back into the vehicle battery during a charging session versus what the charging station itself was showing. So if you don't drive a Tesla or you're not aware of it, basically this is the number they're talking about here, uh, this 71 kilowatt hours. Uh, that's basically the Tesla showing you how much electricity has gone back into the battery. Uh, and then the number that they were showing on the, uh, the charging station was higher than that. So they were getting billed for more than what the Tesla was saying that they had recharged into the vehicle. And the, and, uh, the host of the show was questioning why that was. And of course the reason for that is pretty simple. It's just that charging an electric vehicle is not a 100% efficient process. Uh, electricity gets lost to cooling the battery pack, uh, cooling the electronics on the vehicle, as well as cooling the electronics uh, in the charger and the charging cables and all of that. It, it, it all takes electricity and you're getting billed for pretty much all of that, uh, which is rightfully so. It's all the process of charging your vehicle. It's all electricity that's being consumed in order to charge your vehicle, so you should be getting charged for that. Now the reason that I'm making this video is because there was more than one person that I saw in the comment section of that video saying that the discrepancy was there because Ionity and other charging stations charge you for this uh, inefficiency, whereas Tesla doesn't. They only charge you for the amount of electricity that goes back into your battery. And I'm making this video because I feel it's necessary to point out when somebody says something that's completely wrong. Um, because if nobody ever points that out, nobody ever corrects them, then they just keep on going on spreading this misinformation and so many other people start to take their misinformation as fact and, you know, needless to say, false information starts getting spread. Let's call it fake news. So anyway, this is just an example of a charging session that I did where I charged from basically 9% up to 100% at a Tesla supercharger. Um, there was basically nobody else at the charger when I was there, just a few people here and there. Uh, so it wasn't a big deal, but you can see I sat there for almost an hour and 40 minutes trying to charge up to 100%. The important point here is that you see it says 71 kilowatt hours was added to the battery and I was charged $22.12. Now superchargers, at least in this part of the, the part of the country, charge 28 cents per kilowatt hour. And if you do the quick math there, that doesn't add up. At 28 cents per kilowatt hour times 71 kilowatt hours, that should be somewhere around $19, I think. So that math already doesn't add up. But let's see if I go to the actual invoice here from Tesla. This is the invoice for the particular charging session that I was doing. You can see that they billed me for 77 kilowatt hours at 28 cents. 
and then there was a little bit of a discrepancy in between what the car said I was billed versus what Tesla said I was billed, but this is the amount that was actually billed to my credit card, the 2156. But this is the same number discrepancy that they're talking about on that Ionity charger. I was charged for 77 kilowatt hours, whereas the vehicle only took and put 71 back into the battery. And that's that inefficiency. So really that's it for this video. I just wanted to show that, you know, there is, Tesla is in fact charging you for all of the electricity that you're using to charge your vehicle. You're not getting anything for free. You know, they're not paying for your inefficiency as some people had suggested they were in the comment section for the other video on R. Simmons channel. If you liked this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions or anything about what I've said uh, or about any of the other videos on my channel, just go ahead and uh, put them in the comment section below. And if you'd like to see more videos or get notified when I post up some more videos, uh, hit the bell button down there. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Otherwise, that's it. Thanks for watching.